Welcome to my review guide for my CEH version 9 questions. We're looking at questions 36 through 40. Alright, so when we're talking about this, understand the different types of box types. Things like white, black, and gray. Uh, and kind of what they mean. Sands actually did a really good terminology, and black is where you know nothing about the network, white is you know a lot about the network, and the gray is partial network knowledge. And then for the review, we have internal and external reviews. Um, so moving on, does not want to go to the next slide. Alright, so if we see something like this, this is part of a log file. What could this let us know if it's scanning multiple ports? Well, that does typically mean it's part of a port scan. Uh, here we notice the same IP address, different ports, so we can deduce that it's a port scan of that IP. If it's multiple addresses, we could say that it's a port scan for multiple ranges. This kind of depends on how it's being populated. So we have to pay attention to the IP addresses and what's actually being populated from each IP address. Understand that ACLs are line by line. Uh, an ACL is made up of an ACE, access control entry, and typically we will actually hit on the first ACE. For example, uh, hold on one second. There was missing a zero. So we have a permit 11000 slash 23 for port 443. We have a permit 10 network any uh, port. We have a deny any other port. So if we have a, a IP address 11005 and it's going on port 80. Well, does it match this line? Yes or no. If no, next line. Does it match this? Yes or no. If no, third line. It does match this, so it stops. If we have a 11005 going out on port 443, does it match the first line? Yes, it does. So it stops there. Again, with an ACL, it will stop at the first matching line or first matching ACE. Next is understanding the difference between local file permissions and share permissions. If you're on a local machine, you are dealing with local file permissions. If you are accessing a share across the network, for example, you have to deal with both the share permissions and file permissions. And whichever ones are lining up between file and share permissions, that's what you really get. So I'm going to try to attempt to draw this out. You're accessing a... So these are going to be share, these are going to be file. You have read, you have read and write, but on the share, you only have read and write, but on the file permission, you just have read. So because you have read for both, you can do those. You may have the right permission on the share, but you may not have the right permission on the file, so you actually do not get to write to it. Again, they have to match up for them order for them to actually be able to be accessible. So if we do You may be able to read and write, but on the execute, it's only on the file permission, so you may not be able to do it through the share. Moving on, question five. Understand the importance of time and device synchronization. When you start doing forensics, you're looking at common timing. Uh, as, uh, as data flows through the network, are the dates and times lining up. Even if they're five minutes off, this is an issue. So 
So keep that in mind. Normally, you want everything syncing to the same time. That way, log analysis, device analysis, um, correlation of events is a lot easier when everything is using the same time on all the different devices. All right, that's five questions for this uh, video. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them, and I'll get uh, answering to them as quickly as I can. Thank you. You have a great day.